Hey guys, this might be a weird, <laughs> quick little video. Um, I was just uh, wanting to get some lined paper to go into my little traveler's notebook. And I know you can purchase some like on different sites or like Etsy or um, just uh, templates, right? And I know some of them are, some of the ones that uh, maybe they're free might be confusing or something like that. And I just came across this one site. Now I'm gonna give you guys a link for that site in the description box. I don't know anything about them other than <laughs> I downloaded this from them. It seems to be okay, but you know, whatever you guys, you know, feel comfortable doing great if you don't feel comfortable you know, going off site. Basically it's freebies that they have, um, printouts, excuse me. Oh my gosh, I got something in my throat. I could feel it. I'm like, ah, okay. Um, and you know, like, Whenever I go to get embroidery downloads, like the free ones that they might have on that one embroidery site, like um, Designs by Juju or Juju B. I always forget the name, but anyway, <laughs> I think it's Designs by Juju. She has downloads, but you uh, basically buy it, but you don't buy it. It's zero. You know, you sign out, you check out with it, and then they, they'll email it to you. And then if you have a, if you went ahead and register on their site, it'll just be there forever, um, along with anything else you buy. So with these people, same kind of thing. It's zero dollars, and you're just going to, um, um, have it there. So, uh, maybe, okay. Of course, you know me, low tech right here. I just want to show you guys. So I'll have the link for you, but it's Maple Art Studios and it's free B6 TN, like travel notebook inserts, dot grid graph and line paper. So what's cool is that you have the graph paper, the quad paper, you have line paper and you have the little dot paper, which is really cool. Um, what I like about the line paper is that it's hard for like, how are you going to get line paper to go the right way in a traveler's notebook that you make by hand, right? Because if you're making a small one, yeah, you can probably do it. But if you're making a larger one, like the B6, like we have for the swap. Oh, by the way, the swap ends tomorrow, signups end tomorrow. So please, if you're gonna sign up, sign up by tomorrow. Um, I think we have 40 some odd people uh, signed up so far. And actually I got one of the swaps back in today, Rita. So I already uh, emailed her in, so thank you. Um, and I have other people saying they already sent theirs in. So that's awesome. Um, yeah, the, the sooner the better. But you have to mail it in by the 19th, I think is what we had said. But anyway, uh, tomorrow's the sign up and June 11th. Um, yeah, so it lets you do all three of these. Um, now it says buy with Apple Pay. You can give them a tip if you would like, you know, if you're like, oh, you know, I want to give them a little tip for doing this. But um, super easy. So all you're going to do is add it to your cart. I'm not going to go through the whole process because I already did this, but let's say add to cart, right? And what's cool about this is that it actually is in different, now it's in my cart, I can go to the cart and then just check out. It's gonna ask you for your email, um, your name, which I just put initials, <laughs> and then I think uh, the country you're in. You don't have to put your address, you don't have to put anything else, just, you know, those basic kind of things. Um, <laughs> was I looking for vintage typewriters again? Uh, maybe, uh, anyway, so, uh, so there you go. And then it's just a download, uh, you know, after you have it in your cart and you put in your information, you know, the littlest information you want to give them is what I would do. Um, it looks like they are a company that's actually based out of Canada um, that does sell calendars, printables, inserts, planners, all those kind of things. But they had little freebies. So after I did that, you know, I have it in my downloads, which would be right here on a Mac. But however your, you know, computer downloads things, go to your downloads and then open it up. And once it's open, this is so cool. So you can print on A4, which I'm not because I have American size papers, which would be A2, which actually says for printing on letter or for printing on actual size. So if you want to put a five by seven piece of paper in there and print, that's fine. They look a little bit different, each one of these things. If you have it zip filed, you have to unzip it, whatever it is that your computer wants you to do. For me, it's just easy. So for printing on letter, I'm gonna double click that. And now we have a cover page and I was like, cover page, but this is actually pretty cute. Let me open it for you guys. It'll print you a little page that has like a place you can put something there and then you have something to write and it does say maple studio or mapleplanners.com, which is not what I want. Um, the other cover page it gives you is this one. Look, it looks like watercolor. How cute is that, right? You can print, print this out and it has a cute little design. Um, but I wanted to do line paper. So if you double click on this, it tells you exactly how to print it. So let me open this up, sorry. The where the other cover didn't tell you anything, it says right here, all on the side, you wanna print actual size on your printer settings for double-sided printing. You wanna make sure it's on landscape, which it might already default to everything. I didn't have to touch anything and I'll show you that right now. So like print on both sides of the paper, you know, if your um, printer is asking you all these things. Um, and then on short, on short edge, right? And then just fold in half like a book. So this is for the line paper now. 
page one would print like this and it's going to be blank, right? It's actually going to be the back of your book and it has the mapleplanners.com on there. I skipped printing that because I'm like, I don't need to print this. And I, so page two would be the back side of that, right? Your double-sided printing. So when I went to print, I printed three through six and then I printed like four copies because it's going to be all of these sheets right here that are just double-sided without having that to waste paper on that first one. So check it out. Look, I mean, and I love that it's like gray. Um, really nice look. I love the lines of it. I mean, <laughs> so cool. So now all you have to do is cut this down. So it has little marks on here, registration marks, but basically you're going to take, um, it's five by seven. So basically you're taking three quarter inches off the top, three quarter inches off the bottom, right? And then um, this is 10 inches wide. So you're going to take half an inch off either side off the 11 inches and that's where the markers are so I didn't have to do anything for this to print out just right you might have to tweak it I don't know about your system but now I have all these pages so I'm just going to print really quickly some some of the dot grid because I think that stuff's fun so let me get out of there and it's that easy you guys I mean like I said <laughs> I'm trusting this because this site but um, it looks fine uh, I'm going to do the dot grid and again it's going to say you know you have all your things this is going to be like if you were just to fold it in half this would be your actual book that would be the back of it and this would be the front of it um, I'm sorry this would be the back of it this would be the front when you fold it in half or however I'm not gonna print that because I don't want to and I don't want to start with page two because then if I say start with page two back in front it's gonna have an empty page anyway right but do you see this is a dot grid so cool so I'm gonna go file I'm gonna go print now again, if you know you see all, it's gonna print one through six. I want it black and white. When I had it on color, I have no color ink in there. When I didn't have black and white clicked and it printed blank, right? Cause they must be using some kind of RBG for the gray or whatever. So uh, black and white. I only want pages four, th I'm sorry, three through six. So page three and four, five and six, right? Three through six and I want I want a few copies. I'm just going to print them right now. I'm going to print four copies. I was going to do something faster so I can show you guys, but I'll just send it to print and then I'll grab one of the pages. Um, I'm not messing with anything else because it was perfect. So look, it's already on landscape. It's already 100% scale. Like don't, you want actual size, right? So it's 100%. I'm not doing anything funny here. I guess if you wanted to scale it down to do something else, you can do that. But I'm just going to leave it at this. And as you see, I have low ink. I'm going to say print. And... I'm going to run over and grab one of the pages as it comes out. And yes, I have a pink, rosy Mac here. Hold on. <clears throat> you guys, I love it because honestly, I mean, you can buy it, you can pay for these, but it's free and it works perfectly wonderful. Of course, it does have some different sizes, not really every size. Um, but maybe you can play with it. Maybe you can shrink and do other fun things, but look at that. Front and back with that cute little grid and I'm just gonna cut it down, you know, just like I showed you before. And I'm gonna put it in um, a five by seven holder. It's so cool. So I just thought it was cool. Like I said, I'll have the link for you. Um, I have nothing to do with this company. It's just, uh, I'm just gonna pop it there because it was so cool and so easy. And I, you know, I can even do grid paper, but whatever you like. So um, yeah, so I just wanna show you how easy that was to use. And it's just a fun addition to your notebooks. And I'm sure there's other sites that do this kind of thing, but this is the one that I found that was like super easy and it just worked. I didn't have to mess with it at all. So, all right guys. Thanks for watching. Again, signups end tomorrow. So if you're interested, make sure to watch the sign up videos so you can email me and sign up. All right, guys. Bye now.